Welcome back to the channel, folks. I am Matt. Hope you're all doing well. Today, we are going to check out the Geyser S by Vapex. Now, if you remember a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, a little bit more, I'm not sure. Hard to keep track of time in 2020. We took a look at the Geyser, which was a replaceable 21700 device. Now they have the S, which I'm assuming stands for small, and this one has a built-in battery. Now, I just got sample packaging here, which came with the device and two coils, so disregard that. I'm sure you're gonna get more than what I got. So here is a look at the device, built-in 1500 milliamp hour battery, and I believe this material is made out of uh, what the original geyser is made out of, which was a magnesium alloy. It says Vapex right there. Nothing on that side. You got your screen right there, fire button, your controls, USB-C port, two amp charging. It says geyser down at the bottom, designed by, by Vapex. Your pod is up top here, and you got that same style airflow control, although you don't have it on both sides on this one that we saw with the uh, original geyser. So in order to adjust that, you see it's honeycomb right now. You just twist the little wheel. And that honeycomb does help smooth out the draw quite a bit. Perfect amount of resistance on that little wheel. Now up top here is your Delrin drip tip. Looks to be a 510, but this one's also made to slip over this platform, as you can see. 3.2 ml capacity in the pod. And then in order to get the pod out, you just push it like so. It slides on out. You got this little guy right here that's spring loaded and that locks it into place right there as you can see. Well, it doesn't lock it, but it's like, you know, it's got that stop there and then with enough tension, it opens up. Your two contacts there. Now the two coils that I got are the X-Coil 10s and those are a mesh coil. And as I said in the geyser video, I believe these are compatible. In fact, I think I know these are compatible with the... Uh, Aegis Boost Coils. So I'm gonna put a couple drops of liquid down in, and you can see the airflow gets in from the sides there above where the O-ring is. Then we'll push the coil in, line the flat sides up with the two sides here on the coil. See those flat sides? And push it on in like so. So your airflow comes in from the side here, goes down that little channel and feeds the coil in. So you're not gonna have any liquid or condensation down here. Now, in order to fill this thing, you lift up right there, and there is your fill port. Like I said, 3.2 mLs of liquid, and the fill port on this one's a little bit easier to fill all the way, well, even though I just overfilled there, um, compared to the original geyser because of where the fill port is. Remember, on the if you watch my geyser video, you'll know that was one thing I brought up. Now, let's slide our pod in. Perfect click there. Now, they said that on some of the sample versions, there was a, some rattle with the pod, but I'm not having that issue at all. These pods fit, fit perfectly into my sample version. Now, let's go ahead and turn it on. Five clicks. Really nice, tight, clicky button. Now, let's say new. There we are. Now, it looks a lot like the uh, Geyser's home screen, right? And they also look a lot like some of the Geek Vape home screens on some of their mods. Now, this does scroll in 0.5 watt increments all the way up to 50 watts, round robins to five watts. There is no TC modes or anything like that. There's no menu in here. In order to lock the controls, the left, right controls, you just hold them both down. Now it's locked. Hold them both down again. Now it's unlocked. Press the fire button and the right button, and that turns up your brightness. We're already at max. Fire button and the left button, and it turns it down, all right? Hit the fire button three times, one, two, three, and right there, it, puffs are highlighted. You can reset your puffs. But that's really all you can do here. It doesn't scroll all the way through like we've seen in you know some Geek Vape boards. And then, of course, to turn it off, five clicks. There's a look at it in the hand. Very easy to see your liquid level, obviously, with this one. And pretty ergonomic as well if you're a thumb fire, or you could hold it like that. You just don't want to accidentally block your airflow when you're vaping. Now, compared to the full-size geyser, there's those two together. Here it is next to an Aegis Boost. They're fairly close in size. This one feels a little bit thinner in the hand. 
All right, guys, that is it for the up close. Let's go ahead, go up top, vape this, and talk about it a little more. All right, here is the Geyser S. The coil inside is reading 0.25, 45 watts. Airflow is wide open. Here we go. Super smooth draw, nice restricted lung hit. Now let's close the airflow down like two thirds of the way. Here we go. Then it's a tighter restricted lung hit. Now with this coil, I don't think it's great for MTL, but you might be able to do it. Yeah, kind of, but this one's really better for restricted lung hits. Unfortunately, I just got sample packaging, so I'm not sure exactly what you're going to get in the box. But I think they need to include one of the MTL coils and not just both mesh coils, because this would be a good device for MTL. Really, really smooth draw on it, and the airflow control works well. Now, as far as cons go, wish I held a little more liquid 3.2 mLs. They could have maybe bumped that up a little bit. Also, great that it has 510s, but I wish it didn't have this little platform here because some 510s will just have some overhang, so that's a little weird. The drip tip it comes with is very, very comfortable though. Um, what else? The shiny plastic part is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet, but I don't have much else to complain about. It's a solid little device, and if you're already into like the uh, Aegis Boost Coil ecosystem, it makes a lot of sense because you could use those coils in it or these coils in that, so on and so forth. The buttons feel great. The screen is nice and bright. Really, really easy to navigate through. Fast USB-C charging. Great vape off of this if you like restricted lung hits. Really, really smooth draw. Very, very flavorful. No issues there. One of the smoothest draws from a uh, pod system or AIO, whatever you want to call it, that I've tried. As far as restricted lung hits go, obviously the MTL ones, it's usually pretty silent and smooth. I think it's nice looking. It feels good in the hand. Very, very ergonomic. I like this little swoop right here because it locks your hand in place. Yeah, so it's a solid pod. Now, between these two, which one do you want to pick? Really depends on what kind of coils you want to use. You know, do you want a built-in battery or whatever? This one feels almost as light as this one. I think they're same material. Don't quote me on that, but I think they're the same material. But I don't know what's going on. This one feels just as light as this one. It's just bigger, obviously. It's going to take up more space in your pocket. So, yeah, it's a solid little AIO device. If you already bought into the Aegis Boost coil system, like I said, it makes a lot of sense. Or if you wanted something smaller than the uh, Geyser, also makes sense. A lot of coils you can use. And I would really like to try this with a mouth-to-lung coil. So I'm not sure what the price is going to be on this yet because not a lot of people have it yet. I'm sure that it's going to end up coming in a few different flavors and varieties as far as colors go. Let's end it there, folks. That about wraps it up. Until next time, thanks for watching. Suck my mod.